Hi, my name is Diana Britton, Managing Editor with WealthManagement.com, and I'm here with Joe Durand, Founder and CEO of United Capital. And we're talking about RIA trends and models in the industry. Um, so Joe, I mean, today Chip Rome um, at the, you, we're here at the Tim uh, Ron CEO Summit, he was talking about these scale models in the RIA market, that they're really thriving and doing well. And that's, you know, your model, of course. Mm -hmm. Why does that model work? What's successful about it? I think uh, the primary thing is the time allocation question. Uh, most advisors uh, have a finite amount of hours in their day and are spending more and more of their time on things in which they're not really contributive to the business. So they spend less time with clients, less time on bringing in new clients, and spend a lot more time on technology and compliance and operations, uh, none of which they're well suited to doing. And uh, they have a choice. Either they invest in hiring people that can take the work off their workload, which costs money, or uh, ending up with a firm like ours, which allows them to free up their time. And by freeing up their time, they can grow their revenues, increase their client satisfaction. And so that's the one big reason. The second, which I think is not yet formulated, but is starting to happen, is the importance of having a brand and a process that's systematic. And if you're a small one-man band, it's very hard to have the time to invest in your brand, uh, to, mm -hmm. to have a process and a protocol that's consistent for all your clients, and so it becomes very dependent on the one advisor. It's really a lifestyle business rather than a real operating business. Yeah, and so you guys have been lately working with advisors on um, their brand and sort of going to their offices and changing things and, and yeah. the way they communicate with clients. And can you tell me a little about what you guys sure. have been doing? Sure. So we, we built a whole facility in Dallas to train all of the staff of the offices. So when we bring in a local a new advisor into an office, we can send them there, go to boot camp, run by Stephanie Bogan, get trained, show them the United Capital way. But we think it goes beyond that. It should be that, that the office and the furniture looks the way our branding is represented. So we think of our model as like a Starbucks. And we're not delivering coffee, we're delivering a good financial life and peace of mind and a, a genuine feeling of comfort. But um, you've got to have a, a process that represents that. And that should be everything from from the artwork to the furniture to the way your staff works and greets people. Um, and so we've invested a ton of time with our partner advisors to build something that we can scale and that they can actually implement in a turnkey fashion so that they can grow and, and really deal with a capacity question. Because while it's nice to grow, if you don't have the infrastructure to actually do that, um, you're not going to be successful. So we think there's three things. You've got to have the capacity to do it. Mm -hmm. You need to have the, the story to tell that's interesting enough to attract new people. And third, you've got to have staff that knows what its role is so that you can, uh, you can uh, make sure the clients are happy, which is, yeah. after all, what we all want to do. Yeah, I mean, so also Chip was talking about how, um, you know, consumer and client trust is just eroded, you know, mm -hmm. with, with the financial crisis and all these scandals out there that we yeah. see. I mean, what are you guys doing to overcome that? Um, I mean, what, how should advisors be communicating and talking to clients Well, I think the, the most important question is, what is it that you get paid for? And for most advisors today, the answer is still that they get paid to deliver an investment solution. And because the markets have been so dreadful, they haven't delivered on the promise that the client thought they were getting. And yet, the reality is that that's not why clients go to advisors. But most clients go to an advisor to answer questions about their financial life and to have a better outcome. And so what we think is the future of the industry is to really have a methodology where you're dealing with people's entire financial life and you get paid to help people make smarter decisions that fundamentally improve their entire lives. So our meetings, 70 to 80 percent of the meeting has nothing to do with investing. It has to do with what big decisions do you need help with? How are you and your spouse interacting about money? How are your kids dealing with their financial well-being, and they are questions that, that really help people to feel good about their financial life. And you need to charge for it because it takes a lot of time to do that. But, but when you do that, you don't take ownership of the investment decisions because you're doing it together. So we think there's three things that have to be true. You have to have an interactive process, one that the client owns the decision along with you. You must have a, a system that that includes a client in a way that they enjoy and actually thrive in the discussion and is not product based. You've got to have a process that a client understands so they say, when I have a big decision, I know how to do it. And then you must make sure that it's not dictatorial. 
that the client's actually involved in the decision making, much more collaborative. So the pillars of our industry have always been product and dictatorial and really boring and investment based, intellectually yeah. based. Mm -hmm. and the reality is most decisions are emotional, not intellectual. Clients want to be involved and own the decisions and they need to be more holistic that include the, the entire life. So that's where we think the future is. And, um, and we're investing millions and millions of dollars on doing that, which a local advisor can't do by themselves. So we think it's an incredibly exciting time, but if you're in the red water of dealing with investments only, your pricing is gonna be 50% lower in the next five years. We can say that with absolute certainty. You're gonna be, we were at 2% five, six years ago, we're now at 1% and we'll be at 50 basis points in another five years. So if you can't provide value beyond investments, you're going to have to have twice as many clients to maintain your income. Mm. And that's just going to be hard to do. Yeah. So for us, we know that, that you've got to differentiate what you do. You need to become more of an of a entire life helper rather than just investments. I mean, is there anything just really quick? I mean, I think that that can be a little overwhelming for advisors saying, I need to you know, be offering holistic advice uh, and change my model. Any, like, what's the first step that they can take, like, practically to do that? Well, the first step is ask your clients. Okay. Go and hire a firm that will do a survey of your clients and ask them a set of questions about what's most important to them. How important is it that I know your entire life? How well do you think I'm doing? And I evaluate the gap between what you're doing and what they want. Because mm. what you're going to find, we do this for every firm that joins us, the gap is so wide that the advisor can't help but say, I have to change. And the goodness is when you've asked your clients, they're going to tell you what they want and you can say to them, the way I have worked in the past, I have to do better. And by the way, change is remarkably easy because your clients want the change. Mm -hmm. And if you say to them, what we've been doing has been the way it's been for many years, but we need to change and evolve. The tools are better, the systems are better, and the markets are much worse than anyone envisioned. We need to change the way we work. Yeah. So at first you've got to be convinced that there is in fact need for change and there's no better way to start than by asking your clients and be open-minded to the results. Okay, great. Um, well, thank you so much for being with thank us, Thank you Joe. very much. Appreciate it. Take care.